Two giant pandas born in Germany in 2019 have been celebrating their third birthday. Meng Shang and Meng Yuan, who also go by the names of Pet and Paul, are the star attractions at Berlin Zoo. They're the offspring of two pandas donated to the zoo in 2017. There are more than 600 pandas in captivity worldwide, helping preserve a species that remains endangered in their natural habitat. Our correspondent Peter Oliver is in the panda garden at Berlin Zoo. Um, Peter, just uh, how popular are these two uh, young pandas in Germany? Massively popular, hugely popular, fast asleep right now. You might be able to make them out in the shadows just behind me. Um, but yeah, the, the zoo here in Berlin generates around three and a half million tourists, three and a half million visitors every single year. The vast majority of those at some point are coming right here to Panda Garden, where I'm speaking to you from, to have a look at this panda family that's been here since 2017. Um, the facility itself, brand new for them, arriving back in 2017. Um, they've been a, a busy lot throughout the day. These two are pretty much like um, teenagers of the panda world right now, so you can't really begrudge them being fast asleep while they're on TV. Um, they will eat for around 10 hours per day. I've noticed quite a bit of that as they've been going on. When they're fully grown, they'll take on as much as around 34 kilograms of bamboo every single day but anecdotally from being here in the zoo for a few hours and seeing uh, people milling around the amount of times you hear people go oh wow pandas uh, astonishing and quite a few of those times it's just me and it's good for business it's good for visitors isn't it the so-called panda diplomacy Yeah, panda diplomacy is really a two-way street, though. Um, the zoo here in Berlin does lease these pandas, and for each and every single bear that they have, they pay around a million dollars. Now, that goes to the, the very successful breeding program in China that's made sure that uh, an idea that was to try and make sure that there was around 300 uh, captive panda bears or pa panda bears bred in captivity is seen there being more than 600 captive panda bears bred so it is an incredibly successful uh, breeding program however the bear in the wild is still at risk it's still not in considered as being endangered at the moment due to successful conservation but it is still considered as being at risk and so that type of uh, program is needed in captiv captivity breeding in order to try and make sure that uh, that the, the bear's future is successful. Now, there is another side to uh, panda diplomacy as well, and why the diplomacy side of it comes in, why we're particularly talking about it this week, because Germany and China, or West Germany and China, celebrated 50 years of uh, diplomatic relations. It was 50 years ago that uh, the former Federal Republic of Germany um, started their diplomatic relations with China, and pandas have played a part in that over the years. This is the third pair of panda bears that have been here in Germany, um, here at Berlin Zoo, in fact. And uh, what we have seen is, over the years, pandas being used as a, a sign of saying, well, if a country is in favor with China or China wants to curry favor with a, ch a country, then, then pandas can be given. Because although there's an expensive layout, around $10 million for this particular facility, the one in Copenhagen, apparently around $24 million it costs to put that one in, um, the money that you generate back in revenue from having panda bears here and having people come through the door to see them, you more than make that back. However, it can be expensive to feed them. I mentioned they eat an awful lot of bamboo that has to be shipped in or quite often from China itself has to come in from somewhere and uh, yeah that can lead to extensive costs but you do make an awful lot of money back so panda diplomacy a two-way street certainly one we've seen to affect full effect here in Berlin. Peter we'll let you get on with helping at feeding time um, for the moment thank you very much our correspondent Peter Oliver at Berlin Zoo.